Hey everybody, welcome to the Baby Lock Ovation Surgery Manual. Today what I wanna do is talk about differential feed. Um, if you watch my channel, you may have already watched a tutorial about differential feed. In that video, what I do is I show you what differential feed is, how it works, and how to use it on the ovation, or really any serger. Um, today I wanna to talk about a different topic. I wanna to talk about um, how we always assume that if you're working with a knit, you need to set your differential feed on a number higher than N, okay, to make the front feed dogs go faster so you're not stretching your fabric as you sew it. Well, today I've been working on a, um, a set of yoga pants fit muslins I'm gonna use to teach a yoga pants fit class. And what that actually ended up doing for me is allowing me to use my serger for a few hours, repetitively sewing and sort of paying attention to what's going on. Um, and what I realized is some knits don't need to have the differential feed set off the neutral setting. Now, just to, re to remind you, the neutral setting is when the front feed dogs and the back feed dogs are going at the same rate of speed. Okay, so it's it's pulling the fabric equally, and um, that's usually the setting for wovens, um, you know, and fabrics that don't stretch. And what I did was I ran off a short sample um, before I started sewing, and I had my differential feed set on the very first setting above neutral, 1.3, which means the front feed dogs are just going a little bit faster, you know, and it looked good, so I started surging. And as I was putting together my yoga pants, what I noticed was my seams were not laying flat. And I just wanna get in here and show you some examples of that. And you can see here the, um, raw edge is actually curling in on itself. And in places, it looks completely fine. So let's see, here's a, here's a section that looks great. Okay, but then if I turn it around the other side, it actually curls on that side. So it's doing it in both directions. Sometimes it's curling up the top, sometimes it's curling to the bottom as I'm surging the seam. All right, so I made the differential feed faster thinking that would help it and it actually made it worse. So what I did was I put my differential feed back on neutral and it sewed perfectly. All right, so this is my last muzzle and I have to sew together. So let's go to the serger and let's try out my theory. All right, so first I wanna show you that I've put it back on N and usually N stands for no-no when you're working with knits. So I put it back to N, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to surge the seam, and let's, I wanna just show you how it looks. And I'm just skimming off because I, the um, width of my stitch is my seam allowance. I'm almost to the end of the inseam, and you can see here, if I peel up my top layer of fabric, the edges are still matching, and I didn't pin at all. So this particular knit wasn't grabbing up faster against the feed dogs than it was pulling along from the top, which can sometimes happen. All right, so let me just finish that. All right, so the real test now is going to be to lay this seam down flat to see if it's stretched out. If it's stretched out, it would look ripply when it's laying flat. So let me just lay it right on the serger because there's good light here so you can see. That lays pretty darn flat. So it did not stretch out. And again, my differential feed was set at neutral or normal, meaning both feed dogs are going at the same rate of speed. So next time you're working with a knit and you do a sample and it looks like it's doing a cowlick thing underneath the looper threads, maybe try reducing your differential feed or putting it back on neutral. And the other thing I wanna point out is, I thought, well, maybe it's because, you know, if you're surging down a lengthwise seam, a lot of times there isn't lengthwise stretch in your um, knit. So you would need a lower setting for that because if you were stitching like, let's say the waist seam and it's stretchier, you would need a higher differential feed setting for that. But in this case, this knit is a four-way stretch and it pretty much stretches the same lengthwise and crosswise. So it wasn't because it had no stretch because it stretches just as much in the direction I surged it. So I just wanted to point that out. 
All right, so that's my little tidbit on differential feed for today. If you have uh, a fabric that you're having trouble with, you know, you can visit my blog at Stern Designs and post a comment with a picture and I can check a, take a look at it. Um, you can also email me um, and I'll help you. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you again soon.